Hi, and welcome to the video tutorial for advanced pens. Let's start by creating a perfect circle, and we do that by selecting the ellipse tool, holding the shift key, and there we go. Uh, I already had my fill tool set to a gradient, so it's filled automatically, but I'm not sure that I like it. I want it as radial gradient. Do you have also learned how to do this with the gradient? So I'm selecting the gradient tool from the toolbox. There we go. So I have now moved the gradient. The next thing that I want to do is I want to select um, this particular circle. I am going to transform it by scaling it. I want to scale it down to 25%, but I want to do it on a copy, not the original. Move this out of the way. I am going to make a copy of the larger circle, and I'm going to move that out of the way. With the smaller circle, I can click here and I can go and select a nice white for this circle. And now I am going to put it on top of this circle. I'm going to select the small circle, hold down the shift key, select the bigger circle. I am going to go object blend. You need to set your blend options. We want 25 steps. Object blend. Make the blend. And you'll notice how smooth that is. I'm now going to select the second large circle. And I am going to use my curvature tool. And I'm going to turn it into a bit of a smile. Okay. And I am going to move it back on top of the circle. What I do want to do with this blend, because it represents a darker area of the circle, where the shadow is, I am going to move this around a little bit with Spiders. Now, you'll notice that everything else seems very pale in comparison. Right click, exit, um, isolation mode. Now my things are um, okay. Uh, what I need to do next is get another copy. And this one, I'm going to flatten. You learned how to do that in another tutorial. Okay, I'm going to select this. The nearer to the circle, the darker the shadow is going to be. So if you want, you can use these and just lighten it up. Okay, so there's our shadow. Okay, remember, you can also add a gradient this way. Don't forget to select this, right click on it, arrange it, and send it to the back. And there you go, you now have a shadow that, oops, there we have a custom made blend. I want you also to follow the instructions on the screen to make 
a cube, a pyramid, and at least one polygon, because that is your challenge for using advanced blends. We'll see you next time.